Hello and welcome to section 6 of Mastering TypeScript. In the previous section, we looked at representing JavaScript libraries. This section is on some language features in TypeScript that we can take advantage of to improve our code. In this section, we'll look at making the most of let and const, working with strings, look at enums, then const enums versus enums, moving to ES6 modules, and finally, a video on destructuring. Now we move on to the first video of this section, and it's on making the most of let and const. In this video, we're going to take a look at what some of the problems with var are, then at using let and const instead. When first getting started with JavaScript, developers who come from a background working with languages such as C, C Sharp, or Java sometimes get confused with how scope works in JavaScript. For example, take a look at this code showing on the screen here, and say to yourself what it outputs. Pause this video and give it a better look over if you have to. This code when run outputs 3 and doesn't throw an undefined error. The reason why this happens is because variables in JavaScript are function scoped and not block scoped, so the variable n is visible anywhere within this function and isn't limited to this if statement. Since var is function scoped, it has often been recommended to define all variables a function uses at the start of the function body like this. This is a more readable version of the way we had the code before. It reduces confusion and the chance of defining two identical variables with the same name. This function scoping is somewhat of a problem because it exposes a variable to too much. For example, if we added a for loop here, why would we want the variable i to be able to be used outside this for loop unless we defined it outside? Wouldn't it be better if the language restricted the variable to be used within the for loop? Some other problems with var is that it lets us use a variable within the function scope before the statement that defines it. This compiles and runs without error. Additionally, var doesn't restrict us from redeclaring a definition. We could take this definition for n and write it twice, no problem. Although these problems exist with var, there's a pretty easy solution around it, and it's to never use var. Instead of var, we can use let, which is a new ES6 feature that's available today in TypeScript. Let is a keyword we can use to define variables, but there's a few improvements. You can see if we change the vars to lets in this example that a few things will happen. First, we're getting an error on the first line about using n before we've defined it. Second, we're getting an error about redeclaring n. And third, we're getting an error here about how it can't find i. The reason for that is because i is block scoped, and so the variable only exists within the scope of a block and not the scope of a function. By block, it generally means from the start of the statement with the open brace to the end of its corresponding close brace. So there's a block at this if statement, block at this for loop, and then a block for the entire function. For another example demonstrating this block scoping, we could define a variable within this if statement, and then we can see we can't use it outside the if statement. The restrictions we get using let are all good because it helps us catch mistakes quicker, and since our variables are now block scoped, we don't have to keep the convention of defining all our variables at the top of the function body. Instead, we can define them closer to where they're used. There's one more restriction we haven't talked about that we can take advantage of here, and that's to use const. Const works similarly to let, but there's one major difference. Const holds a read-only value, and it won't let us change that value afterwards. For example, if we do a const declaration and then try to assign it a value later, we'll get an error that the left-hand side of our expression can't be a constant. You can make your own coding standard of when you would like to use let or const, but my recommendation for a coding standard is as follows. 1. Use const when possible. 2. Only use let when the variable will be assigned a new value later. And three, never use var. These same recommendations can be found in a lot of ES6 style guides online and can be easily enforced with a linter like TSLint. 
In this video, we have looked at how we can use the let and const keywords instead of var in TypeScript. I hope you will start to get in the habit of using them from now on. I know it can be challenging after being so used to using the var keyword. In the next video, we're going to look at some better ways of working with strings in TypeScript.